Noobie may be feeling more confident about this, but you've still got BTs onto Hawk or uh, Boar, so it's it's never a guarantee kind of thing. Shards cause you issues inside the pit, but Noobie, that looks like they're committing to this now. They want to try and do it. You've got Miracle knocking on the top door, and then Lasso. Okay, they find an opening. It's over on Moon. The Dire Sentry was down, so that Glimmer Cape will not protect him. Moon's on the sidelines. The top lane is being attacked by Miracle. He wants to make sure the KP feels threatened, but he's going to go up with the Call Staff being very aggressive on KP. They're down inside the bottom lane where the bottom fight's going to happen. Crit's getting stunned up, pushed away with the four stars. He can lose the Batrider, but the battle will continue. Fire starts letting it go. They're trying to pull back into the range of that, of that ultimate. But it's just not enough cover. No Rax also going to lose a little bit more time here. He'll go down with a double kill. The Rax isn't totally down yet, so they haven't achieved it. But three heroes down for the price of two. But behind Miracle, he actually ends up killing off the low Druid. Is he really going to be able to do this? This a TP from Moo, not going to get cancelled. But there's no buyback from Lone Druid. There's no buyback from anyone. He's got merely Rax. It doesn't even matter if Moo is back. It's Miracle taking the whole top Rax. They had no way to cleanly get out of the Roshan pit without getting caught to defend that top lane and OG recognizing be getting a 10k net worth on this Crystal Maiden. Miracle! Uh, he's very close. Tornado's gonna fly up right now. Where's that BKB? Moo, well, he's not gonna trigger it. They're gonna finish the job. Good so, Tornado's already down. Chuan being initiated on by Notel. He doesn't get himself up the hillside. They use the secondary force. So, Notel, well, they'll abandon Roshan. They're coming out to fight, Nubi. Miracle is last through. They need to bring down this Invoker with a kick forward. Do they have enough damage? He'll force staff away. Now it's Notel getting bashed on the front lines. you will turn on the magnetized. Notel's got a up getting hit as now Crip will also go down. Chorn can turn his attention over towards his life steal, but it's a double kill. The buyback comes from Moon. Chorn's forced up, allowing him to escape. No, nope. Miracle and Nortel. Quick on the blinks. They're able to find it. Double buybacks coming out here from Necro Books are off cooldown. We've got practically every single ultimate apart from Freezing Field. Nortel feels immortal when Fly keeps giving him this spell shield. And, well, there's a big target. They're trying to use how as Bay KP was ready to get the counter initiation off, but OG is not giving him the opportunity. Yeah, I just love the decision for Notel to forego having boots to pick up the Aegis. So he's got two lives. He's the one who's often dying first in these fights, and he can just leak in and engage. He's the sponge. He's the space creator for Miracle. Oh. They're up in the air, isolated out by the shards. If they can kill this off, they remove a huge power play right now from Nubi. And that bear, well, it's just going to barely survive. Now they jump in, KP. Who's he? No, he gets a Forge Spirit! He didn't get himself a hero! Oh, that's, that is horrible now for him. They'll try and throw everything out, but Moo was also stranded on the front lines. How comes in through the rear. He'll trigger the BKB, looking for the damage, but now Fly Off was the only go. How will turn around, trying to bail it out, but he's got friends. Miracle as well as Critter here. You can say goodbye to the Baron, you can say goodbye to the game. GG, Nubia have lost too much. OG in 52 minutes will take game for one of this best of three lower bracket final. This is...